G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing you something that I use quite a lot and that is AMP. AMP is a drug that you can manufacture. I will show you what that is. It is this product here. AMP gives you a plus 35 movement, movement speed and a two times jump height for two minutes. So both apply for two minutes. I've popped this into my favorite bar, so it's there all the time. I carry AMP wherever I go, just like med packs. It is super handy. This is running, and then when you want to get somewhere really quick, you just hit the AMP, and your jump is just like super cool as well. So just for two minutes, you're able to run really fast to get somewhere. Say you're after that ship, or you want to get away from, you know, that something it's uh, killing you in a hurry. That's the way to do it. So I'm going to show you how to set up an amp farm today. Really super easy. I'm going to show you all the ingredients that you're going to need for this super easy amp farm. I've actually built one over here. You can see this is just a basic setup. And we've got everything in here that we need. This is running right now and it's producing amp when I go in there and create it. So I'm going to show you how to do this really easily. I'm going to show you all the ingredients. I'm going to show you where to get those ingredients. And I'm going to show you how to uh, do the whole process through the horticulture research and everything. So stay tuned and we'll go through that. All right, once you're at the uh, new Atlantis starport, we do need those ingredients that we need to make uh, all the habs and uh, facilities, I guess you could say, that we need to make the, the amp. So, and we also need to research the amp itself as well. So what we want to do is we want to head around here to Jameson Mercantile. In New Atlantis, this is probably the best vendor for these types of resources. She has everything on our list. If you don't see so, what you want, there's a bit more in the back. If, oh, please take a look. So you want to have a look at her resources um, and she has quite a few. You can see she's got a good list here. The other vendor I use quite a bit here is the UC uh, vendor at Mast, so I will show you where that is. But that vendor doesn't have things like I've never seen it have tetrafluorides, so that's one thing that we definitely need. We don't need a lot of them, we only need two, but you will see that she doesn't have them at the other vendor. So refer to the list that I'm putting into the Thanks description the below. Mercantile. I've got the full list of all the uh, ingredients, supplies that you need. So once you've collected all those, uh, we can head off and I'll show you how to do all this. But I will show you the other vendor. We'll just quickly teleport to the Mars District. Now, one thing I did forget to mention, if she doesn't have all the ingredients that you need, like aluminium, and you don't happen to have the 72 that we need, you could just find a bench and sit down for 48 hours, and that will replenish your stocks. Anyway, the other one is up this ramp and turn to the left and over this way. You can see there's a building over there. This is the distribution center for uh, the UC and she is a vendor as well that can provide you with different types of things, resources particularly. And I won't bother going in there. I'm just gonna show you which building it is. It's this one here. And you would just head into that door there and see her. And she has a bunch of ingredients that you may need as well. So if you didn't want to sit down on a bench and wait to 48 hours, then you could come over here and get some of them as well. So things like the aluminium, she, you might be able to get everything that you need. So if you have everything that you need, the next thing we need is some skill points. You do need to have a few things uh, leveled up. The first one is going to be in the science tab. You need to get to outpost engineering one. So this is the only hurdle. It's a big hurdle. But you need to get there because you do need to be able to construct a habitat for growing things. And that's the horticultural building that you need. So you need to have that in order to build it. And then we need to research it as well. So I've just spread four points into here. You do need another four points on this row before you can build this one here. So just make sure that you, you know, you have... This is not for probably a new player. This is probably for someone who is into outpost building and has uh, leveled up a little bit and willing to spend those points into some things that you may think are maybe a little useless or whatever. But I do, I mean, on my main character, spacesuit design, weapon engineering, I've definitely got those maxed out and, you know, some little things in here as well. So spend the points where you want to, but you definitely need to get this one here. All right, so once we've done that, we do need to uh, head it over to... We could head over to the lodge and I'll show you how to research the amp. We are going to build a pharmaceutical lab in our hab. 
anyway so actually we'll we'll do it there i'm going to show you where i've set up my base it's on jemison and it's the best planet i think for it it has everything you need there are a, i think a couple of other planets that you can do this but we do need three ingredients and they're all found here so i'm going to show you how to get those from what i'm seeing this world has all, all right so anywhere on jemison is going to do as long as it has as the argon okay so that is the main ingredient that you need because everything else that you can build in these uh, greenhouses is something that we need to scan for now if you have a look to the left in my surveying you have to have flora completely researched we can't just research the two plants we need you have to have it at 100 percent before you can build these greenhouses so just point that out so you can see this particular one here spiral creeper for example in the list there you can see the resource it provides is toxin and we need to have all these plants uh, you know scanned this one is a nutrient which we don't need but yeah so that's the reason why we need to scan everything so that can be a little bit time consuming you do need to scan all of the plants on the planet in order to get that leveled up and i had to jump around a little bit to do that it's going to move out of here. It's a little bit noisy. All right. So the areas that I went to in order to find all these plants was the landing area that I'm in now, which is just forest. So I will show you this forest area was plentiful in most of the plants. Then the other area I had to go to was this biodome, this bio up here, biome. I keep saying bow dome i don't know why but our biome and it's the frozen mountains so this particular area here had some plants as well so just bear that in mind that were the two areas i managed to cover you can see i only needed to land in those two areas to cover all the plants but once i did that i just ran around for a while and made sure i was maxed out all the re scanning for the uh, flora so there you go so once you've done that we will head into our habitat. I'm going to show you how all this is laid out in a minute. We'll head into the habitat. And I've set up a pretty simple uh, bed. And we've got the pharmaceutical lab. And we've got a research lab. Now I have put the buildings in the description that you're going to need as well. But it's all down there for you to have a look at. Now we first of all need to research a couple of things. First one is over here at the pharmacology and it, it is this particular thing here. It's performance enhancement one. So you can see the ingredients needed. I've covered this in the ingredients list that you need. So once you've got all that list, you will be covered to do this. If you're already researched this, you won't need to, of course, but this gives you the ability to make AMP, this particular one here. The next thing that you need to research is here in the outpost development section and you do need to have horticultural one researched so this is the other main thing so I've, all those ingredients uh, in materials that you need are listed down the bottom here you can see them they're also in the total list that you need as well so once you've got those two things researched you're able to make amp and this is where you would make it you would make it in this so you can see it's up the top here amp and for AMP, you'd basically need two argon and then one of the uh, metabolic agent and one of the toxin. You can see there that my extractors and everything are working. The greenhouses are producing it. And I've only just got the one of each set up. You can multiply this out as many times as you like. And that's what I would suggest doing anyway. So these, you know, greenhouses, you can build a double greenhouse. If you do the research, uh, you can put more storage in. If you want to go uh, that route, I would suggest probably one greenhouse is enough. Just lots of storage and then you can go and sleep on Venus for you know, the six hours or whatever. Come back and they'll all be full and then you can produce as much amp as you kind of really need it. And you can sell that or you can use it yourself. But I'll show you how this is all laid out. We'll jump into the build menu screen. Now, this is my layout. I've listed how many of everything that you do need down the bottom as well. The main thing is we'll start with the argon. You need an argon extractor and you do need 
a gas storage to connect to that. So you would be you don't need the storage if you don't want to, but obviously the storage, like I said, once you get more storage, you can go and sleep somewhere else or sleep here on Jemison and you it'll just refill. You need six solar. You can see the bottom hand, right hand corner. I needed power. It doesn't have to be solar. It can be wind if you want. I just chose to put solar down uh, and the ingredients are covered as well. So you need those six solar uh, arrays. There this there. Then you need to place down these greenhouses. Now greenhouses are covered in a build menu. to go past it there we go builders so that builders will not show up unless you've done uh the research for one of you know sim the simple fabricator as i've done there or the greenhouse so you'll see that in order to see this building menu if you cannot see builders it just means that you haven't done the research and second you haven't scanned all of the plants on the planet so the greenhouse will only show up in here once you have scanned 100% all the plants. So just bear that in mind, that's a really important fact. All right, so once you've laid down these two, you will need to have water. They require water. You can see up the top left, uh, the power required is three for each, and then water is required. It, you only need uh, one water for each, but I've linked up two water extractors to each. That tends to keep them running full one tended to run out a little bit these small extractors for water didn't seem to you know provide enough water at some point so i made two water extractors you have to spread them out for each of these haps then i placed a solid storage unit right here in the middle and connected these two to that so that is pretty much it i will show you yeah. All right, You're Sarah's welcome. got got in I my way. That's nice. I'm just pleased I get check back with you. All right, she's giving me some sap. Awesome. All right, out the door. Now the next thing you need to do to have this all running is you need to come to each greenhouse, and they've got these little consoles here. This uh, this one over here has got a console on the left as well. You need to go into the console and select what you want. So this one's currently building toxin. And then up across this one. And this one you can see is currently building the uh, metabolic agent. So once that's done, they should be producing what you need. You can see, um, I haven't really looked at the plants on the inside, but they're just, I think it's the same picture for each one. On the, oh no, they're slightly different. There you go. So it just has different plants. Now they are, ingredients are all going into here and you can see that this doesn't really hold a lot. This is a small solid storage container. It's almost full and it's holding, you know, barely 70 kind of ish of each. So you, you will need to put more of these in if you want to do a lot of amp in one go. So that, that would be my suggestion. And I think I have covered everything. So once you have done everything and set it all up and it's running, I would suggest, you know, as I said, having more storage. You can sleep in your hab here if you want and it will start to make it for you. At the moment I can pretty much make, let's have a look, it's almost full. Let's see how many I can make. All right, at the moment we are able to make 74. So it is determined on a one to one ratio, depending on how much toxin or the metabolic agent you've got. I see yeah. what you've made there. Hmm. You're, only, you're only getting one XP for each one that you make. It isn't an XP farm, this one. It essentially, these are other ways or better ways of getting XP. This is purely for the amp, and you can see they do sell as well for... Uh, this is about 100. So you're going to get 10 credits for each one. So if you make 100 of these, there's 1,000 credits. And you can see I made 70 there pretty pretty quickly and easily so you can you know, weight wise is the only other thing uh, 10 of these is one mass so if you've got a hundred you're gonna have you know 10 mass taken up so it's not not too bad it's not the heaviest item and you can go and sell those if you want to or you can just travel to your ship 
and be encumbered and you could load up as many as you want obviously there's room here on this particular spot that i've chosen to put a landing pad things like that in but i've just set this up very simply so you guys can see so i guess your next thing would be to just uh duplicate everything up a little bit so all these storage units are the probably the key thing the this particular gas storage here and the solid storage those two are the most critical and essentially just jump over to venus uh, land get out of your ship get back in your ship sleep for say six hours and then come back here and you would have enough ingredients to make a ton of amp so guys i hope this was helpful if i did think if, if you think i missed something please pop it in the comments below i tried to make this really quick as super quick as i could and tried to just spell out everything that i could and as i said uh, all the ingredients uh, listed below and all the things that you're going to need are in the description below so hit that like button and consider subscribing i've got a lot more starfield content um, at the moment and yeah i look forward to seeing you guys on the next video thanks again Thank you.